Brad Stevens is a brilliant general manager. I give him all the credit for what he's done. I mean, he's a better general manager. He was a great coach, but he's a better GM than he was a coach. Mm-hmm. I mean, they they seemingly pull these these deals off that are mind blowing. Like the fact that they were able to con, well, not con, but they got the the, the, the Trailblazers basically said, "Screw the Heat. We're not sending you Dame." Yep. So we send him to Milwaukee. We get Drew Holiday back. We know that Drew Holiday is never going to play. They wouldn't even send Drew Holiday to Miami, mm-hmm. and I'm sure Miami was asking. And instead, they sent him to Boston. Like, right. Boston you just Boston. made the Boston Celtics well, Boston, sickening good. Boston also had the assets to trade. They had first round picks. Oh, they but dude, who, the, look who they gave away. They gave away Malcolm Brogdon, and they yeah. gave away Robert Williams, yeah. who didn't play all year. Did they give a first round pick also? Who cares? I'm just saying, though. But they I don't know. I don't remember. But they gave away yeah. Robert Williams, who was barely able to play the last two seasons for this. He was always hurt. And and Brogdon, who got hurt last year and who was kind of disappointing in the playoffs versus the Heat for them. I mean, wasn't well, for me. I was happy. Yeah. But, you know, I think Brogdon's a good player. But he didn't He didn't live up. But that also goes back to who's your point guard. Brogdon's a point guard. Yeah. And if you're taking the ball out of your point guard, this is why some of these teams, the way they play, like, you have a point guard for a reason. If you're playing the point guard and not letting him play point guard, you're kind of losing what you got with him, I would say. They got rid of Grant Williams' big mouth, sent him to Dallas, who sent him to Charlotte. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, look, I, I think I don't. Boston had a great, great season. They deserved the championship. They won the championship. Congratulations to them, number 18. Um, as a, as a kid growing up, I'm as a Celtics fan. I'm so much more happy to see them with 18 and more than the Lakers because I grew up hating the Lakers. I still hate the Lakers. Um, I admit my biases, but I am a Heat fan, and I, you know, people will say, "How can you cheer for Boston?" I was actually cheering for Boston. I wanted Boston to win. Me too. I did. I did. I wanted them to win. I I, I, I wanted them to win. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell. So you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.